Atmospheric Aerosols. This course is brought to you by Gilad James Mystery School. Learn more at giladjames.com. Introduction. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAWS, have been drawing attention as a major hazardous air pollutant due to their potential carcinogenicity and mutagenicity. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are formed during the incomplete combustion of oil, coal, gas, wood and other organic substances. PAWS are initially generated in the gas phase, and they are adsorbed on pre-existing particles undergoing condensation during further cooling of the emission. Thus, most atmospheric PAWS exist in the particulate phase, while some higher volatility PAWS or low molecular weight PAWS remain partly in the gas phase, for example. There are basically five major emission source components, domestic, mobile, industrial, agricultural and natural. The relative importance of these sources changes depending on the place or regulatory views, however, in the urban environment with heavy traffic, mobile source, that is vehicle exhaust is the main contributor to the atmospheric pause, for example. Thus, health risk of the dense urban population by the exposure to those pause has been of concern both in developed and developing countries. Currently, PM10 or finer particles are major air pollutants in many urban areas. In the atmosphere, pause or partition between gaseous and particulate phases as explained earlier. Especially, pause of higher molecular weight species, which are often of higher carcinogenic potential, are mostly associated with fine particulate matter, for example. However, atmospheric behavior of particulate matter is known to be highly complicated in terms of its chemical compositions, size distributions, physical behavior, reactions, and so on. Accordingly, Atmospheric behavior of pause associated with particulate matter is subjected to uncertainties and still poorly explained, including their temporal and spatial variations. Thailand's capital city, Bangkok was selected as the field of this study, where traffic air pollution and its health effects have long been a serious problem due to the heavy traffic and the chronic state of traffic congestion. It was reported that about 88% of PA emission is attributed to motor vehicles and the minor contributions are from biomass burning and oil combustion. In Bangkok, road traffic is the main transport. Diesel buses have been the primary public transport, and ownership of passenger cars both gasoline and diesel and motorcycles has been increasing. The mass rapid transit network is still insufficient to meet the dramatically increased travel demand, which arose concurrently with the rapid economic development and rise in population in the last several decades. Thus, Road traffic is heavily congested. At present, overall air quality in Bangkok has been significantly improved owing to several effective policies taken in the last decade, and the initiation and ongoing extension of railways and reinforcement of vehicle emission controls are quite promising for the further improvement. This is recognized as a successful case of urban air quality improvement in Southeast Asia, where many cities are still suffering from serious air pollution. In spite of the improvement, the present roadside PM10 levels in Bangkok have still been constantly exceeding the standard values, 24-hour standard 120G-M3 and annual standard 50 micrograms-M3. Given the situation, carcinogenic pause associated with particulate matter are suspected to contribute to an increased health risk for the people living in the city. Previous studies on roadside measurements reported much higher levels of pause than those at ambient sites, which has been the case for Bangkok as well. It is stressed that environmental monitoring of pause is needed in more comprehensive ways with higher resolutions of time and space, especially at roadside areas, which are possible hot spots of high levels of exposure. In PA monitoring, temporal variations of concentrations are an important aspect, for example, seasonal and diurnal changes. As for seasonal variations, monitoring data in developed countries in the temperate regions, such as Western Europe and the USA, are relatively abundant whereas in developing countries in the tropical regions including Thailand, data are limited. For diurnal variations, there have not been many cases reported because PA concentrations are usually reported as daily average. However, some previous reports showed remarkable diurnal changes in PA concentrations, with morning and evening peaks in parallel with traffic rush hours, for example. If we further look into the behavior of PAWS, 
information on diurnal variations of particle size fraction pa concentrations become of interest, because particulate matter of different sizes is known to exert different levels of adverse health effects in the human body and finer particles penetrate into deeper parts of the human body and cause respiratory or cardiovascular disorders. However, studies concerning such information have been quite limited. Therefore, the specific objective of this study is to investigate diurnal variations of particle size distribution of pause by conducting field measurements.